When you or your loved one is diagnosed with a terminal illness, where do you turn for help in the final days of your life? Sure, there's hospice, but what if you can't afford it? It's a question that one Orange County woman couldn't shake. Yeah, as a stroke survivor herself, she got to work on a dream of creating a comfortable space for patients who otherwise would have no place to turn. Today, we are proud to introduce you to Michelle Wolfesteg, one of our nominees for our series, Remarkable Women. I don't give up. I have a can-do attitude. I believe anything is possible. To hear Michelle Wolfesteg speak, you would never suspect that she has suffered not one, but two strokes. One as a child and another as a young adult. At one point, dropping into a life-threatening coma. Because of that, I just had this extraordinary passion for people who were suffering. Michelle's unwavering passion turned into a dream of ensuring no patient faces their final days alone. It led to this house, where she has created Orange County's first nonprofit end of life care home for terminally ill individuals. There were moments where I was like, how am I gonna do this? There were so many hurdles and hardships and and we, we did it and it's because we didn't give up. The Heavenly Home, situated in a quiet Mission Viejo neighborhood, opened its doors just over a year ago and has served over a dozen men and women with around the clock care in the last stages of life. I just knew this was the place my mom needed to be. Heidi Emmert's 82-year-old mom, Joanne, was diagnosed with stage four cancer last year. We felt so helpless. I mean, we, it was just too much for six grown adults to try and make her comfortable and take care of her. Given days to live, it's then that Heidi and her family turned to Michelle and the Heavenly Home for help. We prayed together. The staff members prayed with her, they prayed for her. But they also celebrated with a family barbecue. Hi. Michelle tells me it's all part of the Heavenly Home plan to make people smile when they otherwise are sad. We find out what they like and we make sure it happens um, because we want to let them know that they're valued and that they're loved and that they're deeply cared for. Michelle has been given a gift from God. She has dedicated her life to making people at the end of their life have the most comfortable transition. How would you describe a remarkable woman? I think we're all remarkable, right? All of us are. And we're all made and created.